Today's video is going to be a short video on some hauling that I've been doing. I've been out and about picking up a few things that I thought I'd want to share with you. But before I do that, I want to give a big warm welcome to all my new subscribers and to let you guys know why I haven't been contacting you individually. Well, something really odd has been going on with YouTube. For the past week, I've had absolutely zero emails telling me about new subscribers. Yet when I go to my channel, I can see that I actually have new people that have subscribed to my channel. So I'm not really sure what's happening. I've been Googling around. I've been asking other people to see if anybody knows what's going on. And I assume that YouTube is doing some sort of revamping to the system and at some point we'll know uh, what they're changing, how they're changing it, and what we'll need to do to go forward. First things I want to share with you are some things I picked up at Sephora last week. And I went in specifically to try out the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizing Foundation. And I did purchase that. And I don't know if you know, but Laura Mercier also just came out with a brand new Cream Smooth Foundation. I think maybe they're trying to do something similar to what the Success Maybelline has been having. Anyways, it's only available in a few stores, and I went into Neiman Marcus and purchased that. So now I have the mineral powder, I have the tinted moisturizer, and I have this new cream foundation. So I'm going to do a separate video and show you the three items and to a comparison of them, so I won't show you what I bought um, from Sephora. But while I was there and the girl was doing my foundation, she asked me if she should put on any new blush and contour for me so that when I left the store I could look sort of similar to when I came in, and I said sure. So she finished the makeup application with this Dior blush, and it's called Sunkiss Cinnamon. And it's really a pretty color. Now I'm sure you're thinking that I have similar colors to this and other blushes, and I do. The contra color is similar to the chorus that I have, and the colors together are definitely similar to the uh, La Mercier quad that I showed you. But this is just a beautiful application. The color is really nice, and I'm really enjoying it. The next thing that I picked up from Sephora is a lip gloss. It's called Lorac Couture Shine, and it's in vintage. It's a really pretty nude color, and it has sort of like a pink undertone. So I've been wearing this by itself because it's pretty thick. It's a little bit thicker than what normal lip glosses are. And I've also been mixing it up with some of my other colors, and in particular, something else that I bought that I'll show you next. So I've been watching the latest Lisa Eldridge video where she talked about the lip fusion and putting that on while you're doing your makeup to let your lips plump up and then go ahead and put on your lipstick and your lip liner. So I thought I'm going to go give it a try. So I, so I went in and I picked up this tester of this really pretty light light pink color and I put it on my lips and I was walking around the store to sort of see how it felt and I absolutely love the color. So the display said it was called Screen Siren and so I thought okay so that's the color and I went and looked at the boxes right behind the display and that's what it said in the boxes and I picked one up and I put it in my bag. And of course when I got home and I took it out, this is what I ended up with. Not light pink at all. So somebody had switched the tester, which I didn't realize, and so from now on I'm not only checking the display name, the box name, but I'm opening up the box and seeing what's inside of it. But anyways, this works really nicely. The only problem for me is that it's it's pretty dark color. You can't it looks sort of pink when you're looking at it now, but when it goes on, it goes on like really dark, sort of reddish pink, which is just too dark for me. So what I have been doing is I've been putting this on and then I've been putting the Lorac over it and it's beautiful. It tones it down to this beautiful shade of pink, and I absolutely love it. The last thing that I got from Sephora is a Buxom um, Insider Eyeliner. Insider Eyeliner. I think somebody out there is going to ask me to do that three times fast, right? I'll leave that up to you. Anyways, I bought it in the Amethyst. It's a beautiful, beautiful purple color. And I've been using it uh, for tight lining, and it really makes my green eyes pop. I think there's a song. I'm gonna make my brown eyes blue. Oops, don't it make my brown eyes blue. But I think I'm going to change the words. So the next thing that I got, I actually bought online. It's the new Steeler One Step Corrector and Brightening Serum, and it looks like that. And what they've done is they've taken all of the correcting colors and they put it into one tube. The idea is that as you pump it, you the, all the colors mix together, and then what has to be corrected gets corrected. I'm not sure I quite follow that. That the uh, like the green color will know to go to the red, and the purple will know to go to the other colors. I, I'm not really sure how that works. Um, I will say that when I used it, it gave me a really nice primer or base for my foundation, and it looked really nice. But the problem was it has silicone in it, which I didn't realize it, and I broke out from it. So I, I generally don't break out from things anymore, and this was really bad. So I, I absolutely can't use it. So, But I will say that I've been reading reviews on it, and it's gotten some really great reviews. So if you have no problems with silicone, and you're looking for a nice primer that will definitely tone out the redness and even out your skin tone, what I would recommend is that you go to your local Sephora or wherever or an altar or whatever you can wherever you buy it from and see if you can get a sample of it and try it out for a few days to make sure that you don't have the same reaction to the silicone that I did. So the next thing that I bought is a new Chanel Coal pencil and it's in clear. And I bought this specifically for my waterline. I've had really 
this last week my allergies and sinuses have been really like raging and so my eyes have been really red and sort of puffed. I don't know if you can tell it today. So I bought this and I've been using it on my waterline and it's great. It really makes my eyes much brighter looking. It cuts down on the red and it's Chanel. It, you know, it's a great product. So the next thing I picked up is a Laura Mercier eyebrow pencil and I got it in Fair Blonde. And I'm sure you're wondering, Fair Blonde, why is she getting a pencil in Fair Blonde? Her eyebrows are so dark. Well, that's specifically why I did get it. My eyebrows are really, they're such a dark brown, they're almost like a black brown. And I have actually in the past bleached them a bit to try to lighten them up because sometimes they get so dark that I just feel it's too stark for the lightness of my skin. So what I decided to do was to get a lighter colored pencil and to feather that in when I'm shaping my eyebrows and to fill in any areas that are sparse. And it's really nice. It really has toned down the colors of my eyebrows and it sort of gives the same effect as sort of like highlighting in your hair. So I'm really enjoying that. Now the last thing that I want to share with you, I actually got on eBay, and I don't know if you remember, but a month ago or so, I talked to you about the Hydro Power, the Shiseido eyeshadow, and I showed it to you in that really pretty uh, green, bluish color. I don't have it with me, so I forget what the name of it is. So I was looking on eBay, and I went to one of my trusted suppliers that I have bought other Shiseido items from. Uh, I get it mailed very quickly. The price seems to be always fine, and I, I think they're pretty much legit. And the, he had the most beautiful pink color. It's called Rose Tool. And I'll show you that, see if I can get, that will pick that up. And it's such a pretty shade. Really nice product. You can wear it by yourself or you can put it on and then build on it if you want to. I know that everybody's talking about sort of cutting down the amount of shadows that they do and just to try to do one or two shadows. So you definitely could do this. What would be really pretty with this is to put this sort of all over your eye and then maybe just contour with a light brown. Really pretty. So that's it. That's my haul. Just a few things that I picked up that I wanted to share with you. Um, I can't believe that it's almost the end of August and we're probably all thinking about our August favorites already. And really the summer is coming to a close. It has really flown by, but definitely can't complain. It's been a phenomenal summer. The weather has been absolutely glorious. And I understand that we're in for another really great weekend too. So with that, I'll say goodbye to everybody. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you're going to have a really great weekend. And again, a big welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll speak to you soon.